periodic trends in physical property. Previously, we studied the first property, atomic and ionic radii. Now we see the second property, ionization enthalpy. What is the ionization enthalpy? The ionization enthalpy is the amount of energy required to remove and last electron from its atom. That energy is called ionization enthalpy or ionization energy. We see first periodic outline. So here, as atomic number increases from left to right, atomic number increases continuously. But we see in the last lecture, atomic radii decreases. That means electron, last electron, come closer to the nucleus. So, force of attraction increases. Force of attraction increases. That means more amount of energy required to remove an electron. We require more amount of energy to remove an electron. So that's why ionization enthalpy increases. Ionization enthalpy increases. So here, now the periodic trend first S block, then D block, and the last P block. So now, point number increases, atomic radii decreases, that means force of attraction increases, so more amount of energy required to remove an electron, so that's why ionization enthalpy increases from S block to D block to P block. So the ionization enthalpy are in between S block and P block. In the first transition series, that means in 3D series from scandium to G, that is atomic number increases from 21 to 30. Similar trend, atomic radii decreases. So therefore, I mentioned enthalpy also increases. Because previously we studied as atomic number increases, atomic radii decreases. Atomic radii decreases, that means force of attraction increases. That means nuclear charge increases. And the nuclear charge increases, that means to remove and last electron difficult. So ionization enthalpy increases. This is in first 3D series. Similarly, in 4D series, 5D series, and 6D series, the trend is similar. But now in the to remove First electron that is called first ionization enthalpy, then second electron to remove and second electron, then ionization enthalpy second and form third electron. That is ionization enthalpy third. So here, as number of electron increases, ionization enthalpy also increases because as number of electron increases, nuclear charge also increases. 
and nuclear charge increases that means force of attraction increases and the force of attraction become more difficult to remove an electron so ionization enthalpy increases so the trend is third ionization enthalpy is more value as compared with three ionization enthalpy so the ionization enthalpy first is less than ionization enthalpy second less than ionization enthalpy third ionization enthalpy also help to predict thermodynamic stability which is helpful to which ion at particular oxidation state is more stable for example an n plus 2 and fe plus 2 in which which ion is more stable that will be decided on the value of ionization and the sum of ionization enthalpy that means plus 2 ion that means to remove 2 electron so sum of ionization enthalpy of first plus ionization enthalpy second can also say ionization enthalpy first plus ionization enthalpy second so the sum of ionization enthalpy which value is smaller that have more stability previously we studied the few metallic properties of transition element which metallic properties like metallic luster malleability ductility thermal and electrical conductivity hardness high tensile strength so these are the metallic character of all transition series but these property are depend upon number of unpaired electron all these properties are depend upon number of unpaired electron why because as the number of electron increases these electron have available to make covalent bonding that are called metallic bonding so number of unpaired electron increases metallic bonding between atom also increases metal become more hard so therefore some properties also increases like melting point and boiling point also increases tensile strength increases hardness increases density also increases thermal and electric conductivity also increases ductility malleability and metallic cluster increases so these property are depend upon number of unpaired electron so in the first series scandium 2 g as number of unpaired electron come from scandium to g first increases up to manganese then decreases so what is the trend all these properties increases from scandium to manganese and then decreases from manganese to zinc that is the trend of metallic current